Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you how to dump the credentials using multiple ways. Uh, one of the way is proc dump. Um, so we are going to see how we can collect the memory dump um, from the LSAS, which is the local security authority subsystem, which helps in authenticating the user to the local system. So like I said, we have multiple ways. We will utilize in this case, in this scenario, I'll show you how to do that through the proc dump. I'm an attacker, I got um, the shell by compromising one of the vulnerability of the domain controller. And you could see on my screen, I already have the shell. Um, I'm in uh, temp folder, I moved to temp folder uh, because we have the read and write access in the temp folder. And um, you could see that I already dumped the proc dump and um, the mimic as, as well. Um, I can directly go to shell. Um, um yeah i'll go to shell uh, i got the shell access okay who am i so i have the highest access system level access and um, you could see my what is my host name okay uh, it's a hydra dc okay so um so we have the proc dump we have the mimicas proc dump here proc dump .exe. so we can use search util or else any other method, whatever you want to download. So here I use search util and download to the victim machine. So the next step is um, we need to utilize the proc dump command um, to uh, create a memory dump in the same folder. We are in the domain controller system. You could see the host name is Hydra DC here. So, um, so this is the command um, we are accepting and then creating a memory dump with mem.dp. Um, Good. Great. So we have the memory dump created here. So the next step is um, we need to launch the Mimikas. We can directly launch from here or else if you allow PowerShell. So as I'm in Metasploit, it's a good one for the attacker. So um, I'll be launching uh, my PowerShell as well, PowerShell hyphen EP execution policy bypass. So I, pass the, I bypass the PowerShell, um, sorry, um, execution policy. Um, okay, let's now launch the Mimikas. Mimikas.exe. Mimikas.exe, okay. There you go. We are in the Mimikas.exe. Now, first step is I need to elevate my privileges. Got it. Um, so I got the privileges. And now the second step, is I need to um, create, I need to uh, switch myself into the memory uh, dump. That is, you could see the path which was created here when we are dumping, see here. So we need to switch ourselves to this one. Let's see. So this is the command. Secure LS is one of the module. We have multiple modules. So I'm switching myself uh, using this module to this one. So I'm switching to mini dump to this module. Now I'm going to dump the hash values what are available in this mem dump, which we have collected using proc dump from the domain controller victim machine. Boom. We have all the NTLM hash values. So you could see this is a domain controller. So mostly if it is some bigger organization, you'll have uh, hundreds of hash values, but um, this is my lab setup. You could see, um, Hydra DC and NTLM hash value. Um, yeah, this is NTLM hash value. What else? Yeah, administrator account and administrator hash value. So I can take this offline and crack it using hashcat or else I can use crack map um, um, to pass, to use the pass the hash technique and then spray this hash value to entire network and see wherever it is successful and it will be helping me for um, moving laterally. And also, um, I don't see Kerberos ticket granting ticket here. If we have that one, we can create a golden ticket as well. Yeah. So this is how um, you'll be dumping the NTLM hash value um, from mem dump. And this is how you'll be collecting the mem dump using proc dump from LSAS. Thank you.